All right, for this demonstration, we're going to go through product filtering and product attributes. We're going to look at how they're displayed on the front end and also how you manage product attributes on the back end in the administration of Onveos. So on the front end, we're going to use this home products category as an example. We have a bunch of different products in here, uh, some faucets, some lights, some different products. And then we have a bunch of attributes. So attributes work in a couple different ways. On a category level, if you choose to show product filtering for a category, which can be either shown or not shown on a per category basis, you will then see on the left hand side here, these product attributes that can be filtered. As those attributes are clicked, for example, if we select uh, the weight to be two pounds, then we're going to see the filtering happen. The page URL does not change, and now we have that product that has that two pound attribute associated with it. So product attributes display on the category level. If we go into the product, so we'll click on this product. On the product level, now we do not have the attributes on the left because we're on a product. If we scroll down and we look at the specifications tab, we'll see all of those product attributes right here in an easy to display format. So not only do those power the category filtering, but they also show up here on the product page uh, for informational purposes. Now, if we look at this product, this product is called Loose Packed Ice Bags. If we look at this product in the website administration, we'll look at how those attributes are managed and how they're set up. So we'll go to edit this product. We're going to scroll down to the product attribute section. You'll see add product attribute at the top here. And then we'll see the attributes that we already have added. So we have weight, material type, and height added. And then you'll see our values that we're displaying on the product page and also on the filtering. If we go to click Add Product Attribute, attributes can be added a couple ways. In this dropdown, we have all of our different product attributes that can be managed. And I'll show you in just a second where those are managed. So if we select color, we can then select from options such as red, green, and yellow that have already been used. So if you have an attribute that's already been used, you just select it. That will that'll stop you from typing in uh, something in a, in a couple different ways, um, such as yellow lowercase and yellow uppercase. So it keeps it consistent. If you select yellow, then you can hit update. You can also hit custom value. And this, you could add a new value that's never been used for, before, such as black. So that's a couple different ways that you can add those attributes. If we go up to the very top in the navigation, and we go to the product attributes section, this is where those main product attributes can be managed. So if you do want to add a new product attribute, that can be done here. And then that will be shown as a product attribute on the product page. For more information on Unveils, please check out our other videos or give us a call. Thank you.